Hey, it's Brickzar, and today I'm going to start building the Hayabusa, this Kuso set. I think this was the second or third Kuso set, uh, set 21101, 369 pieces, and it's this Japanese satellite, which looks pretty neat. And they, the guy that designed this did a good job, and I think Lego adapted it a little bit the way they wanted to uh, but it's my first Cousseau set that I've built so pretty cool and we're looking forward to the Back to the Future Cousseau set I don't know when they're going to do that but it should be hopefully not too long so I'm going to get this thing started respect the box you will never see me punch a box a Lego box. Now let's see how this looks. Well, the sticker sheet was just in there, but it didn't get bent. Oh wow, good. This is high quality instruction manual. This is like what you get with the um, Master Builder Academy, which I should do a review of all those. Uh, my son really liked the Master Builder Academy. This tells us about the Hayabusa project. It came back t to Earth on. June 13th, 2010, had dust from an asteroid. Cool. It's seven year mission to seek out strange new asteroids. Very good. So that's the Cousseau satellite. It's not a satellite, it's a, it's a, I called it a satellite, but it's, um, it's a spacecraft because it actually went out and got this dust from the asteroid and brought it back to Earth. The instruction manual it has a lot of details about the um, Hayabusa project, and I regret that I didn't know about this sooner. But um, it's pretty cool. And this little micro build is a micro build of a very small object. <laughs> this is the Minerva rover. 
And we'll go over here to the manual. The Minerva Rover was a 10 centimeter tall, 12 centimeter in diameter uh, compact rover that went to the surface of Atakawa during the landing operation. Okay, this part of the spacecraft is called the sampler horn. It, the Hayabusa touched the surface of Itakawa, the asteroid, with a one meter long sampler horn. And that's what this is. And it guided particles from the surface into the main body of the spacecraft. And that information's in the manual. Okay, the little gold part here is called the capsule. It transported the collected dust particles back to Earth, and it was a diameter of 40 centimeters. It weighed 16 kilograms, so this little micro build is that, the capsule. And I wanted to show you that. All right, this little part is the ion engine. It was a new technology that used microwave discharge ions. Um, it ionized the propellant xenon and then electrically accelerated the and emitted the ions to propel the uh, ship forward. Uh, so it was a highly effective engine, and it reminded me there was actually a science fair project in the 1968 edition of the World Book Encyclopedia that had a ion propelled uh, device that you could build that used uh, used a uh, I think an ignition coil from a car, and it emitted enough ions to move just a slight amount, but in space where there's not as much friction uh, and gravity, uh, you can propel an, uh, an object using ions. So that's pretty neat. All right, here's the completed spacecraft. I must say this is one of the coolest Lego sets I have built in a while. I really did like it. I like learning about this um, Hayabusa also as you go through the manual. It tells you what each of the different little parts are and there's even a history of this thing. Now the, the minifigure you get is the project manager Jay Kawaguchi and we thank him for leading this mission to go to the asteroid and bring back some dust and he also has his face this is his launch face I suppose because everybody that leads a space mission they're always nervous will it make it back will it make it safely so that's his worried face and then the other face, original face, is when you get back. Yay, everything worked out. And there's a picture of J. Kawaguchi and his satellite. I keep calling it a satellite. It's not a satellite. It's a spacecraft. It's the Hayabusa spacecraft. It's got its solar panels there. And it was just a really neat design. And, you know, I've seen this... Cousseau project. I never really looked at it that closely, but being somebody who was interested in space and space exploration growing up into my education days, I would have been really interested in this. I mean, I was into the space shuttle, and uh, if I'd been old enough, I would have been into the moon landing stuff, but... Um, this is pretty neat that they brought dust back from the asteroid, and brought it back to Earth. That's just that's a that's pretty that's a pretty big deal, as far as space exploration goes. So, this is an excellent excellent set. It's well worth the price. You get a high quality box. You get high quality instructions. The model is great, and I can't recommend this one enough. And I only reason I got this is I had a couple of YouTubers suggest that I build it and I went ahead and did it anyway um, and I'm, I'm thankful it's Jaybird1043 and one other guy 
think his name was Wall. I have to look at it again. But um, anyway, thanks guys for suggesting that I build this. I'm glad that I got it, and I'm glad that uh, there were so many people supported this on Kuso in Japan and made this a set. Very good set. Very good idea. I like more stuff like this that Lego uh, would do. Uh, this is better than the uh, Mars stuff that they did. They had some space sets that... Uh, oh, it's been a, a little while back. I had some of them. Uh, I don't have any more. I sold them, but there was um, like the um, Mars rover thing and uh, Apollo mission type sets, but this one, this one blows those away. It's an excellent set. So I highly recommend the... Cuso Hayabusa set, set 21101. I'm not going to go into more detail. I mean, I, I know I've talked a lot already on this, but the instruction manual, it's like a little history lesson into this spacecraft. And I, I it's just really neat. I'm going to get and start reading this thing. I only skimmed through it um, as I was building it, but there's a lot more information in there. So a really good read. And an excellent set, even though it's got stickers, which I usually don't like stickers, but you got to have them to put these um, solar panels on. And just a neat, neat, neat build. So, um, good job with this. Uh, I never even went to the Cousseau site to see who was the one behind getting this made, made a set, but um, very good. Excellent set. So, uh, hey, if you don't have it, Recommend you getting it before it becomes unavailable on the LEGO uh, website. So that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching Bricks R. Please comment, like, and subscribe.